Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the Xbox uh, uh, One X which is the new uh, console by Microsoft and earlier this was codenamed as Project Scorpio and uh, uh, I personally own the original Xbox One gaming console and just last year the Xbox One S came, I didn't upgrade to that but this the Xbox One X is a sort of a huge upgrade and it's sort of a new console but in terms of looks it looks very similar to the one xbox one s as you can see from this picture uh, this uh, uh, the xbox one uh, uh, x the new one is on the left and the older xbox one s is on the right it's slightly slimmer but again don't be fooled this one packs in a lot of uh, horsepower and according to microsoft this is one of the most powerful gaming consoles in the market as of now even surpassing the uh, ps4 uh, pro i own the ps4 also but i didn't upgrade to the ps4 pro because from last year we have been hearing a lot about this uh, um, and a new console by uh, Microsoft known as the Project Scorpio. So I'm going to talk about this uh, Xbox One X. And first, let's talk about the processor in this. Again, um, even the PS4, uh, PS4 Pro and even the original Xbox One S is running a custom APU. Uh, this is actually made by AMD. And the processor on this Xbox One X is still made by AMD. It's a 8-core uh, processor and it is clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. But in gaming, if you know, processor is not the most important part. The most important part is the GPU because that is what drives the graphics. And I'll talk about the graphics horsepower on this Xbox One X later on. But here are the other specs. Uh, this Xbox One X packs 12 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, which is again a massive compared to the original uh, Xbox One X, which had eight gigabytes. And uh, this one is having one terabyte of hard drive and it's sort of a hybrid drive. It also has eight uh, gigabytes of flash storage in that. And if you have used uh, original xbox one you'll know how slow the hard drive on that one was and uh, this xbox one x is supposed to have 4k support so this new hard drive is supposed to be a lot faster so hopefully the games and stuff will load a lot faster on this xbox one x and uh, now coming to the gpu the new gpu on this one is actually a 40 uh, compute units you could call it 40 cores not technically if they are known as 40 compute cores and they're clocked at 1.172 gigahertz and uh, in terms of the teraflops in uh, the graphic uh, horsepower is uh, measured in that uh, to, uh, this one is having uh, up to six teraflops of uh, graphic power to give you an idea the original xbox uh, one had about 1.3 teraflops of power so this one if you do the maths is almost about 4.6 times faster than that in terms of graphs effect uh, horsepower and if you compare it to the uh, ps4 pro that sony has this uh, ps4 pro had a uh, compute of about 4.12 teraflops so this one is having six teraflops uh, and that is the reason microsoft is claiming that this xbox one x is 4k ready and they say that uh, gaming on this can be done at 4k at 60 fps and in fact uh, they uh, in their demo they displayed forza 7 which ran at 4k at 60 fps do note that not all games will run at uh, 4k uh, 60 fps but microsoft is selling it it has 4k support and other thing is that i know this question i'll get if you don't have a 4k television don't worry it will work perfectly fine with the 1080p uh, television think of this as for example uh, i do have 4k cameras and sometimes i shoot the video in 4k but uh, the final output that i put on youtube is at 1080p so it can scale back from 4k to 1080p so if you don't have a 4k television you don't have to worry about that also, apart from that, it supports 4K HDR, Dolby DTS and other stuff as you can see on the screen. And this Xbox uh, One X will be having a 4K uh, Ultra HD Blu-ray drives. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, now coming to compatibility, this new Xbox One X 
is backward compatible uh, with all the Xbox One accessory. For example, if you have old controllers and even the old games that you have on the Xbox One will be compatible uh, with this one. So you don't have to worry about that. Microsoft was talking a lot about compatibility with the Xbox One. Now moving to the pricing, uh, regarding the pricing, Microsoft said that uh, this uh, console will be available in US and some other regions from November 7 onwards and the pricing will be 500 US dollars. So certainly pretty high pricing. Uh, so about India, they didn't mention anything yet about India when it will be available, but I doubt the pricing will be that great in India. And now the price of the original Xbox One S has been reduced from $300 to $250. I was just checking Amazon India uh, right now, uh, just before shooting this video. And currently the Xbox One S is selling in India for about 28,000. So this one uh, is priced about 500 US dollars. So I don't expect the pricing to be that great in India if it launches uh, by the end of this year uh, because in India I would, when uh, um, the PS4 uh, also launched I purchased it and I asked some Sony officials why is the pricing of the PS4 uh, uh, in India this high they said that in India consoles uh, attract extra tax like uh, apart from the regular taxes they also levy entertainment tax on gaming consoles. So that's the reason consoles are expensive in India. The pricing of the uh, Xbox One X in India as of now is not announced, but considering the price point of about 500 US dollars in US and uh, yes, uh, uh, GST is coming in India, so we might not have a lot of taxes, but uh, the government might uh, mull uh, this, uh, what do you say, gaming consoles uh, at the highest tax bracket, that is about 28%. So realistically speaking, I don't think so the pricing will be aggressive in India. Best case scenario, we are looking at around a price of about 45000 if and when it launches in India. So certainly it's going to be a very expensive console. But as of now, this is going to be one of the most powerful gaming consoles that you can get. And this natively supports 4K. So what do you think about uh, this Xbox One X? And will you be upgrading to uh, the Xbox One X if you have the original Xbox One? Uh, personally speaking, I'm as of now not decided if I would upgrade or not. I'll see when it launches at in India and check the pricing and then maybe I would upgrade because I do a little bit of gaming still uh, I play for example I like Forza 6 and I play Battlefield these are the two games that I play a lot but let's see if uh, when uh, Xbox One X launches in India and more importantly at what price but again would love to know your thoughts about the Xbox One X in the YouTube comment section below so again uh, share your opinion and if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video